Hello and welcome back. In today's video, I just want to give you five quick tips on how to clean a room very fast and efficiently for those days when you just do not have a lot of time to clean, when you're overwhelmed, whenever you've had a lot to do the past few days, things get piled up and you're just like, I don't even know where to begin. I have no idea where to start. I have those days a lot. So over the years, I have came up with a couple of solutions that helps my mind stay on track with what I'm doing because I have that ADHD adult brain crazy blah, blah, blah. But anyway, to start off with the first five tips in your room, the most important thing to do is go into it prepared. Have all your supplies, have everything that you need to clean with, your mop, your broom, uh, your all-purpose. Decide to use paper towels, um, wash rags, washcloths, uh, trash bags, everything that you need, mops, brooms, whatever go in prepared so you don't have to leave your room because whenever you leave your room, you get distracted if you're like me and you end up cleaning a different room or doing the laundry instead of finishing the room. So if you go in prepared with what you need to do, first off, you will start off more successful to begin with. So my first tip, number one tip, is to go in with everything that you need. So after you have all your things and you go into the room and you're ready to get started, Tip number two is to take your basket, which I call a hitchhiker basket, and you walk around from one side of the room to the other, pick one side, walk around, and pick up all of the things that do not belong in that room. If you're cleaning the kitchen and you've got kids' toys on the counter, if you've got your iron or you've got uh, hair supplies, if you've got things that you brought in from the grocery store and they need to go in the bathroom or to another room, Take your basket or your tote, whatever you have, and pick up every single thing off of your counters or off of whatever surface you're cleaning at that moment and pick everything up and put it in that basket and set it aside. While you're doing that, drag your trash bag along with you, your trash can, whatever it is that you're using to put trash in, and pick up all the trash off of the counters or the bathroom sinks, wherever you happen to be working. As you're picking up things that don't belong in the room, first of all, Along with that, pick up all the trash that doesn't belong. You're doing two things at one time and you're staying focused on, okay, this doesn't belong here. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to, this is trash. We're going to get this area cleaned up. And then, so that is a lot of the big problem whenever you're cleaning is the clutter, trying to wipe off surfaces around everything, pick everything up and move it. If you start from the beginning and get all the clutter out and all the trash out, you more than likely will have a fairly clean surface to start actually cleaning so once you pick up all the clutter all the trash then you can start and tip cleaning. number three is grab an all-purpose cleaner something that will clean anything and everything glass granite countertops uh, wood the sink the refrigerator the floor something that will be good on anything walk around the area that you're cleaning see if you have anything that's sticky anything that's stuck on anything that's going to be hard to remove spray those things really quick and let's spray a little bit of cleaner on all of your handles on all your cabinets and then just make a really quick wipe and wipe all your um, door handles down on all your cabinets. If you have a few extra minutes, wipe down the front of your cabinets. While those things are sitting, start on one side of your room. You clean your room wherever you're at from the top to the bottom because dust, dirt, debris falls up and down. There's no sense in sweeping your floor and mopping your floor and then going and cleaning your counters and throwing all of the grime, crusty, whatever into the floor because then you're going to have to sweep again so you're double cleaning so while the things are sitting for just a moment with the cleaner on if there's anything on your countertops or your sink tops anything that you happen to be cleaning just wipe it off and dust it in the floor because you're going to have to sweep anyway so tip number three clean your room from the top to the bottom don't over clean don't overwork yourself there's no sense in it do things quickly and efficiently with what time you have I've learned that over the years the hard way. Also in tip number three, you should do this weekly anyway. If you have a couple extra minutes, one or two minutes, while you're wiping down your cabinet doors and your cabinet knobs and your countertops, spray the backsplash of your um, around your area of your cabinets and things. If you have just regular paint, if you have um, tile, no matter what you have, just take an extra minute and spray that and just wipe it down really quick. You should do that anyway, like once a week to get any splattered food, grease, spaghetti sauce. It just takes an extra minute. You don't have to hard clean. You don't have to scrub, 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 scrub like your grandma used to. Just take your cleaner, wipe it down, 
keep the dust down, keep the, the crumbs down oh, and splattered food and stuff. If you are trying to clean in a hurry, you are not cleaning, you are tidying. You're picking up a few things to make the room look better. You're spraying your cleaners to make it smell better. You're wiping down things to make it look better. So just remember that yeah, 10 minutes will make such a grand difference in a room. You would not believe what you can get done in 10 minutes. And tip number four, take out your trash. Trash should be taken out daily, even if it's not all the way full. Trash stinks. It's trash. It stinks. It smells terrible. It's usually food. It's usually, um, who knows? It's, it's just everything that's trash and it stinks. And if you want your home to smell good, one tip to make your home smell better is to take out your trash every day. So before you sweep your floors, before you mop your floors, whenever you're done cleaning off your counters and your cabinets and all your trash is gone out of the room, bag up your trash, take it out. That way, if there's any crumbs or anything uh, that might leak, any leakage that would come out of your trash can, the trails all the way to the back. After you take your bag out of the can, spray some deodorizer in your can. It will help with odor, it'll help with smell and a tip that helps and helps a lot. Take a couple of extra trash bags and put them in the bottom of your can. That way, if you're in a hurry, you don't have to dig under the sink or wherever you keep your trash bags and you don't have to search for a bag. You can just pick one up out of the bottom of the can, stick it back in there and you're done. So tip number four, take out your trash, spray your can and put an extra bag in the bottom for those days that you're in a hurry. And tip number five, after you've wiped everything down from the top to the bottom, sweep your floor because of gravity what goes up must come down so all the crumbs and all the dust and all of the debris all the drippings from your trash can are all on the floor so now take so just a minute grab your broom sweep up everything uh, your vacuum whatever it is that you use to clean your floors with just vacuum it all up get it done with the next thing you know your whole entire kitchen bathroom whatever room it may be that you're cleaning will be done and clean and smell fresh if you have an extra minute or two, grab a mop, a Swiffer, um, a rag with a little bit of spray. Clean up those little tiny spots uh, that your kids might drop on the floor and not tell you, or the spaghetti you dropped last night, or the dripples from the trash bag, or the dog paws from the rainy day when they run through the house and have mud on their feet. Just grab your Swiffer, run it across the floor really quick. Get those little spots. It's not, it doesn't need to be a major mopping job, just it's an in-between the days that you do your major cleaning. Just do a spot mop, get all those things up. It will be worth it in the long run. Whenever you leave the room, come back in, you're like, oh, my room's clean. It's so refreshing to walk in. It's so tidy. It doesn't have to be perfectly clean. It just has to be presentable. So a recap on everything that I just said is number one, come to your room prepared. Come with everything that you need so you can do a quick tidy up so you can get everything together so you're not running back and forth to get the things that you need number two your hitchhiker basket and your trash can go around the room really quick pick up all the things that don't belong in that room put them in your hitchhiker basket take everything that's trash and put it in your trash can because 90 percent of the things that we are cleaning are things that don't belong and trash so if you tackle that number two the trash and the things that don't belong Put your hitchhiker basket to the side. Don't walk away and try to go put everything away at that moment. Wait until you're finished cleaning that room. Number three. Number three is we clean from the top to the bottom. We wipe things up higher, down, 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 because everything eventually falls to the floor anyway. So if we clean from the top to the bottom, we're not overcleaning, we're not overworking ourselves, and it gets it done more efficiently. And number four, take out your trash daily. Get that trash bag, get it out of that can, get it out of the house because it stinks. Spray your can, put an extra liner, extra trash bag, whatever it is that you use in that can for the days that you're in a hurry. Get the trash out, makes it smell a lot better in your home. And then last but not least, sweep up all the things that you just threw on the floor from up above. Sweep it up really quick. If you have a quick minute, mop up everything. And then the next thing you know, 10 minutes later or so, it looks like the magic cleaning fairies came to your house and made everything look so wonderful. So anyway, all these things will help you. They'll help you get organized. They'll help you clean quickly and efficiently. You don't have to kill yourself. Just take a, a quick minute to get everything done. Make sure to put your cleaning supplies up when you're finished. Take that hitchhiker basket when you're done. Put everything where it needs to be. If it's your kids, holler at them. Say, hey, come put your crap up. You brought it in here. Let's put it away. 
So you put all your stuff away, everything looks wonderful, it smells wonderful, and it looks like you've worked very hard and you actually didn't. It takes a few minutes and it's all worth it in the end. So thanks for watching, thanks for coming back to my channel, thanks for visiting, for listening to me ramble, but all this stuff, I promise you, does work. It's very efficient. So if you like this video, if you like this kind of content, hit that red subscribe button down there. Subscribe to my channel. If you come to the, watch the videos, you like the content, it doesn't cost anything, it's free, push the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. Like the video. All of those thumbs up, thumbs down, anything. It helps my channel. It helps me grow. It help and also leave a comment down below and let me know if you have any cleaning tips that would be helpful to me or anybody else who reads the comments down So remember, subscribe to the channel, leave it a thumbs up, put a comment down below. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope these tips helped you. And until the next time, God bless.